What's up guys, it's your girl from BeFit. If you don't know who I am, I'm an online weight loss coach who's dedicated to calling out all the BS in the fitness industry and providing you with accurate fitness, nutrition, and weight loss information. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I wanted to give you guys just kind of an extensive list of all my go-to like affordable Amazon finds related to fitness. Leggings, crop tops, food scales, resistance bands, like you name it, I'm gonna give you it all. And the fitness industry can be very expensive like if you get sucked into like the glamour side of fitness like leggings are like 70 dollars and all that stuff and i get it if you really like the item you have the money up to spend it's good quality makes sense but i like saving some coin when i can and my second video ever on youtube was about all my favorite amazon leggings that were under 25 dollars. so i wanted to give you guys an update on that one Please don't go watch it. It's like so cringy. I mean, I can't stop you, but I wanted to show you how the leggings have held up over time, especially because they were so affordable. I think a lot of people would expect them to just like deteriorate instantly, but all the leggings are in really good shape. But I want to let you know which ones I really ended up loving. And it's actually Prime Day coming up. So if you're watching this in time for Prime Day, you might be able to snag some of these things at a discount, which would make them even more affordable. So let's get into it. Okay, I wanna get through the random items really quick and then we'll jump into the clothes. So the very first one is gonna be this wig. It is a pink wig with like short cropped pink wig with bangs. I wear this when I'm acting as my parody fitness chick character named Trish the Fitness Fish. If you follow me on Instagram or on TikTok, you see me wearing this wig. Trish gives out very bad advice and she just cares about having followers so that she can have sponsored brand deals. And every time I post about this wig, I get so many questions about like where it's from. So I'll add the link in the description. I will add all the links to every item that I talk about in this video in the description box. I do receive a small commission for purchases that you make through my links. You don't have to do that, but I super duper appreciate if you do because every small amount of money helps support me creating free content for you guys. Okay, I know that wasn't really a fitness item, so let's jump into this Nike waist pack, I think it's called. It goes around your waist and it has this little tiny pocket that you can hold stuff in. So, so many different leggings that I love to wear don't have pockets and I don't have anywhere to put stuff. So I'll put like my locker keys in here. I'll put my phone in here. This little tiny pocket fits like the biggest phone that you can buy. You wouldn't think so, but it does. I'm filming with my phone right now, so I can't show you, but I will, I've will. i literally worn these for years, like years. And if you use them a lot, the zipper doesn't hold up for a super long time. Like I think I've had three or four of these, but I'm using them a lot. So it makes sense and I'm okay with buying it. I think it's around like $20. I got made fun of a lot for wearing this. Like people are like, oh, you're the girl in the gym with the fanny pack, aren't you? And I'm like, that's me. So I love it. I think it's super handy. If it's not your style, I totally understand. Okay, so two more random items and then we'll move on to the clothing. This one is gonna be booty bands, like fabric booty bands. And it usually comes like in a set of three. There's three different sizes in here. And I just think they're incredible. The ones I always have to borrow from the gym front desk absolutely suck. The fabric makes sure that it's gonna last a really long time. It's super durable. And it has these like, like it's like rubber on the inside so it like grips your leggings or grips your legs so it doesn't slide around and i've been going back and forth in my head about whether or not i should let you guys know exactly what brand this is because this brand this brand and i have a an interesting history together and there are lots of like other brands on amazon selling products that i think would be just as good of quality so I figured you guys might like to hear the tea of between me and this brand. Don't come, don't try to figure out who this company is. Don't come for them. So this is what happened. They reached out to me and they're like, hey, we would love for you to try these bands. And I was like, damn, super excited. Send them to me. So they did. And then at the time, my website was mainly a blog. This was like a year and a half ago. And they were like, hey, we were wondering if you would be interested in writing some blogs for our website. We want to have a blog tab on our website, like about booty building and booty bands, blah, blah, blah. And so they offered me $100 to write four blog posts, $25 per post. And I was super excited at the thought of someone wanting to pay me to write a blog. So I said, yes. And I was like, let me think about some concepts and I'll get back to you guys. And at the time, my neighbor was a freelance writer. And so I asked him like, what's the normal rate for writing blog posts or like doing freelance writing? Because like $25 per blog post seems like 
really small like not enough money whatsoever because they wanted seo optimization they wanted me to do all the research and they wanted me to write it i was like this is going to take me like four to five hours so that's literally like five dollars an hour and so he said the normal rate for freelance writers is like five cents per word and they wanted this blog to be two thousand words so i messaged them back and i was like hey i spoke with a freelance writer friend of mine because i'm new to this and he said that that's the average rate so that would come out to a hundred dollars per blog are you flexible on pricing and what they said to me in response professional writers are expensive hence i reached out to you <sighs> okay like i'll have you know that my fourth grade teacher told me that i was going to be a famous author one day because i'm so good at writing okay so who's a professional writer now and i really debated if i should just like go off on them but i ended up deciding to just be very polite and just absolutely turn it down so i said 25 dollars for five hours of work isn't something i'm willing to do i'm sorry thank you for the opportunity though and they said okay cool no worries thanks for your time as well and then later that same day they said we are good right no we're not good so that's the story of how I got absolutely roasted by an anonymous person behind a booty band company account. <laughs> and I do really recommend the products though. Again, I'm not going to tell you what brand it is, but there are tons of options on Amazon like this. So I will link some in the description. You can find which ones you think will be best for you. Another type of resistance band that I really like, I don't have them, but I recommend to my clients and I haven't gotten any complaints so far. So I feel like they're a good option. I've been writing a lot of home workouts using resistance bands right now because people don't have access to the gym. So these are the ones that I've been having my clients purchase. I also have a client who is allergic to latex and she was like, I can't use these. What are my options instead? So I came up with this solution for her so if you're allergic to latex there's this option as well it has covers on the band and handles so you shouldn't have to actually touch any of the latex so i don't have these to show you but i would recommend them and the last random item before we move on to clothes is my food scale i actually have two different food scales this one from amazon and also one from bed bed bath and beyond bed yeah bed bath and beyond and so you don't have to get anything fancy you can get something cheap if you're wanting to weigh out your food and potentially track your calories it's a really good option the reason i don't have it with me is because i'm literally in the middle of moving right now half of my stuff is at my new apartment half of it's here with me the surrounding area around me right now my office is in absolute shambles i just feel in general like a mess i pulled out a gray hair today it's fine <laughs> Or you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Let's move on to clothing. Okay, so my tripod only goes so high. We're gonna have to be doing this sort of thing for the rest of the video. Please bear with me, but let's talk about crop tops and sports bras. So this first one is a crop top that I get tons of questions about every time I wear it. It adjusts these ties so you can change the length of it it's super cute i don't actually wear this in the gym but you definitely could if that was your vibe unfortunately it used to be available in white black and red but i don't see it on the shop that i bought it from they do have it in neon green so i thought it would be worth mentioning if neon green is your style i'm fairly color averse so i couldn't physically handle that on my body but hopefully they'll come back out with like the more typical colors and because i always get so many questions about this top i found a similar one that you guys could get if you're interested in a sort of like tie crop top like this i will say that this one does have a little bit of like tearing right here but that's such an easy sewing fix that like like i i can't even sew and i could fix this so to me that's not really a deal breaker okay before i show you the next sports raw you might be sitting there thinking i am not the type of person who would wear a crop top or a sports bra in the gym or in public and i totally get that it's not everybody's jam but i will challenge you and say this i also didn't used to be a sports bra in the gym kind of person because these are a little bit more like decorative you don't wear them under a t-shirt so i always used to look at girls at the gym wearing sports bras and be envious of their confidence and it didn't matter what their body looked like i was like wow i wish i was confident enough to just wear a sports bra in the gym and so one day i was like you know what i am confident enough to like wear a sports bra at the gym and even though it wasn't yet i was like i'm gonna challenge myself so i brought a backup t-shirt and i just decided to go for it 
and it ended up being totally fine. The only reason I hadn't one, worn one before was because of my confidence. And just by challenging it, I overcame that. And now I feel totally comfortable in sports bras. So just because you think you're not the type of person, if you still don't wanna wear it, fine. But I'm just gonna say, there's not one certain body type that's allowed to wear crop tops and sports bras, okay? You do you, figure out whatever's gonna make you feel confident. But if it's still not your jam, I'm gonna show you some really great sports bras that I got that could go under a t-shirt. So just bear with me. So this sports bra, I have little teeny tiny boobies, okay? But this one is super supportive. Like if you are worried about support, this is a sports bra to get, it's super high impact. You can see the padding in it. It actually does make my boobs look pretty good even though I'm small. But what I love about it is the back. It's so cute. I'm obsessed with it. Okay, next one. Okay, this one I am also just totally obsessed with. Look at that. And I think it, like when I bought it, I think it was only $15. And I don't think they had a bunch of colors, but I think they have more colors now. It just like makes me feel so edgy. Like I even feel like if you wanted to wear this as like a crop top out or even as like a bathing suit top, it would work. Don't mind my deodorant, but it does have padding in it. And again, kind of in the itty bitty titty committee. So I can't really speak to how supportive it is and how well it holds you in. Cause I don't really have to worry about that, but cute and affordable. Highly recommend. Okay, so now for the bras that can go underneath your t-shirts or whatever it is you wanna wear. It just kinda looks like this. It does have a clasp in the back and the straps, you can make them crisscross, you can keep them straight. It does come with padding, but I took it out. And what I love is like you can get it in bulk. So it literally comes with like five or six bras. They're so comfortable. You can also get all black. They have nude. They have a bunch of different skin tones. Like I think at least three different skin tones. So if you're a darker complexion and you want something that's nude, they have those options. It's just so comfy, so affordable, so versatile. Like highly recommend. Okay. Now let's talk about leggings. We'll start with the ones that I have on, which are 90 degree by reflex. These are inside out. <laughs> Should have come prepared, but I'm wearing the these ones. I don't think they have this color anymore, unfortunately, but these are a year old. These ones are two years old. These are a small. And so I can do either an extra small or a small. And I'll just get up close so you can see like there's no pilling, there's no tearing. Like it literally looks like almost just as good as I first bought it. So 90 degree by reflex are like probably tied for my top two favorite legging choices from Amazon. If you are not a huge fan of Amazon, I know you probably are if you're watching this video, but if you would prefer not to support Jeff Bezos, totally understand that decision. They do sell these at like Ross, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls. 90 Degree by Reflex is a brand that I've seen in stores in person. Okay, let's do the next pair. Okay, so this next pair are called Fangbei. Don't know who came up with that name. They are literally only $18. They're amazing. They have pockets, like they lasted over a year now. They're just as good as when I first bought them. I don't think they have any blemishes or anything. My only complaint with these is they're a little bit loose in the ankle area. I did have one of my clients bought a pair and she said the same thing. They're kind of loose in the ankle. If that bothers you, you could like roll them and it would be fine. It doesn't bother me enough to like be a deal breaker or make me not like them. So highly recommend, especially if you like pockets and you like leggings under $20. And for the finale, we're gonna talk about my all time favorite, the one that I have like four or five pairs of them. They're just, amazing and they were on sale for prime day last year okay i'm kneeling on the ground now which is what i should have been doing the entire time i needed to talk to the camera but it's okay we already did it if i'm out of breath it's because like if you go to like a store and you're trying on tons of clothes like did anybody else get winded <laughs> from trying on clothes because same anyway crz yoga is the company these leggings are incredible. When I took them out of the package, I was like, oh my gosh, they are so soft. I did a Lululemon try on video because I'd never tried Lululemon before. I wasn't a huge fan of Lululemon, but I know a lot of people are. And these leggings are as close as you're gonna get. And the reason I'm not a fan of Lululemon is because they're so expensive and because they pill so easily, I'd be so stressed about ruining something that was so expensive. So these are very comparable, 
They were $24 last time I ordered them and I can't remember what the sale price for Prime Day was, but as you can see, I bought three pairs after my first initial pair. I will say that there is a slight amount of damage to a couple of these, but I literally wear them constantly. I wonder if you can see here. Yeah, there's some like pilling, if that's what you would call it, going on on the butt probably because I sat on something abrasive. I'm a little bit reckless when it comes to life, I guess. Like I'm pretty sure I sat on like straight up concrete, um, like sidewalk, so that's why that happened. And then on my light blue pair, I was filming a funny video as Trish in a gym, a hotel gym, and I was doing dumb exercises. And I put like a Velcro ankle strap like straight on the leggings and that's the result. So if you treat them well, they won't do these sorts of things, but literally a year later, they're amazing. I'll show you what they look like on. They have the double hem right here. They have the double hem on the inside of the leg as well. So very Lululemon-y, I think. And my one complaint with these, which was the exact same complaint I had with Lululemon and a lot of high-waisted leggings, is they just come too high on me. But I did hear from a seamstress, I did some modeling for this like local designer for a fashion show. And so he was designing the pieces based off of my body. I think it's called a fit model. Anyway, the seamstress was measuring all my measurements and she was like, your waist is weird. <laughs> and so what she said is that my waist, like the smallest part of my waist, sits lower on my torso than like the average person. So that's probably why I have an issue with Lululemon and these leggings being a little bit too high in terms of being high-waisted for my personal preference. But for under $25, I can roll them. It's no big deal. So that's why I have them rolled. There's like a little pocket inside here too. But here's what they look like all the way up. Ooh, okay, I'm sitting back down in my natural habitat. I'm sorry if I'm like, it's not just trying on clothes that's making me winded. The air conditioning that we have is so loud that I can't have it on when I'm filming and it's like 100 degrees outside. So I pre-cool the house and then I film as fast as I can. And by the end of the video, I'm usually sweating profusely. So that's also what's happening right now. I apologize. So the last two leggings that I'm not showing you from that Amazon leggings video that I made over a year ago are a fit me and belief, bay leaf. And there was nothing like particularly wrong with them. I just found myself not grabbing them to wear. The Fitney ones made my butt look incredible, like insane, but they just like didn't, I don't know. I'll put up a clip right here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Like they aren't very like skin tight. They kind of bunch and bag in certain places, which I don't love in a legging. So that's why I just, I think I didn't choose to wear them even though they made my butt look amazing. That's not what it's all about. There's so much more than that, am I right? And then the belief bay leaf ones they were just a pair of black leggings they weren't anything special so i just found myself all again like not reaching for them so i did donate them still recommend them if you're interested so those i give an in-depth review of those in my first video again please don't judge me <laughs> if you watch it i've come a long way and i apologize for the background music in that video I just, I'm so sorry. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you do decide to shop, I would so appreciate it if you used my Amazon affiliate links. Everything is gonna be linked in the description. I'll add sizing information, but honestly, I just recommend following what the reviews say. That's usually what I do and I'm pretty spot on. If you have Amazon Prime, they do usually do free returns for most if not all of these items. So it's kind of like a low pressure purchase. If you have questions about anything I talked about, put them in the comments and I'll try to get back to as many as I can. And I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye.